Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed, and today I am here in Baltimore, Maryland. I came to Baltimore for a business conference, um, and right now it's Sunday. The conference doesn't start until tomorrow, so I'm just gonna go ahead and look for something to eat and explore like the little piece of the city that I'm at and uh, we'll see what we can find. We're gonna go through this bridge. I don't know where it leads to, but let's check it out. Also, I'm noticing that a lot of the lights are super bright. I think it's my camera it has like very low quality for like late night settings. Um, but it's the only camera that I brought besides my GoPro. To be completely honest, I don't know where I'm going. I'm just walking to where I see people and uh, hopefully I'll find something that is worth it or just something to eat because I'm kind of starving right here. I think Baltimore is known for like seafood, so I'm trying to find a place like that. I'm also really close to Little Italy, so uh, if I don't find any good seafood places, I'll probably hit the, uh, the Little Italy and see what they have over there. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, guys. Look. This little bridge covered in lights and it leads you to a place with more restaurants. So I'll probably go ahead and uh, cross this thing. There's also a ship right here. Looks really big. Look at that. And it's like right here too in between the buildings. I know I haven't seen much of this place, but so far I like it. Uh, there's a lot of people running. There's like a like a person there grocery shopping. So I'm guessing they live close by. So it's a very like quiet and peaceful place. I'm kind of liking it. I also thought it was gonna be super cold, so I brought like this jacket, but it, it's not cold. Like I have it sit down. It's re the weather is really fine. Oh guys, I think I'm getting sick. I really need to eat something. Ugh. I'm just kidding. It's just the lights, green lights. Kind of cool. I think that area right there is where I want to go. It looks lit if you catch my drift. One thing that I've learned in like the few minutes that I've been in this town is that people don't stop in the like in the street. Like even though you have the right of way, they don't stop at all. I'm just like, I just stared down like someone that passed by me. I was like, what the heck is going on? So I guess people don't do that in this area. The flow, they call me real team from Baltimore, letting you know. I spin rhymes automatic, with no static. Spit truth to my message to you, freestyle fanatic. I don't beg a hand for hand down, poetry's what really I'm about. My brother's pretty fly, I had to say hi. You walk by, camera lens, I can drop freestyle rap, take it home and show your friends. Five pin live tonight, my rhymes are true. Peace and respect, and I show love to you. Look at this, guys. Well, that looks like the Vega sign, but it's just like a, a bar. <laughs> I'm guessing this is for like live concerts. This is like a little bar area right here. Like there's one bar, there's another one. Like clubs too and uh, restaurants over there. I guess this is where people get lit close to the uh, waterfront. I'm just trying to find something good to eat and I don't think this is the place. I'm just leaving this place. People playing huge Jenga over there. Look at that. As I continue to move away from that place that you saw me at the beginning, like the bar area, it's starting to feel like a little bit more dangerous. I don't know if I should be recording, but I just want to show you guys what I can find. But if I keep feeling like this, I'll just show you guys whenever I get to the different places and I'll be careful when I'm just walking around. I just arrived here at uh, Little Italy and there's a lot of restaurants like going that way but I just wanted to check this area. It's like a little plaza and has the statue right there and it's surrounded by Italian flags as you can see. All of those poles have Italian flags on them and this statue is of Christopher Columbus. Of course. I'm just gonna go ahead and go back and head to that uh, general direction that I told you about, uh, Little Italy and see if I can find a, a good restaurant uh, or something that I want to try. Welcome to Little Italy. I think that's what it says. 
the first place that I find is a seafood place. Dang it, why does it have to be so tempting? Seafood has to be one of my favorite foods and I the, the very first restaurant is a seafood place. So I don't just want to stop right here. I'd rather just go around and if I don't see anything more interesting than this, I'll just come back and, and eat here. Seafood is amazing. Even the, the hydrants show their Italian pride. Look at that. Molto bello. I like this area. A lot of restaurants, a lot of places to go and visit. Um, I still don't know what to get to be honest. Uh, I'm really craving the seafood so I'll probably go back. But I just want to finish like exploring this little area right here and uh, see if I find anything else or uh, maybe there's a restaurant like just hiding that and maybe it's gonna catch my eye. So we'll see about that. I just found this little area. I think it's interesting because there's no one here and all the benches and the doors have like <laughs> green, white and, and red. Just as the Italian flag, people really take it seriously here how this little area has to be Italian themed. Look at that. By the way, my friend that comes with me to almost all my videos, he's Italian. I bet you wish you were here, bro. <laughs> I'm just exploring for the both of us now. So looking at it closer, it's like the name of a family or like, a, I don't know, it looks like a cult too. Look at that. The Order Sons of Italy in America. I think I'm just gonna get out of here. <laughs> and of course, there's a church right here. I bet it's Catholic too. It's kind of big, it's like one of the biggest buildings here. I'm just going through all the streets here in Little Italy and checking out if there's any restaurants or any, uh, like you saw before, like any uh, decorations that are worth uh, showing to you guys. I think that's it to be honest. Um, I think back there there's like another road and that's the end of uh, Little Italy. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go back. Uh, it was cool looking at everything, but I don't think I'm feeling like Italian food. I really want to try some good seafood from Baltimore. So we'll see how it is when I get there. Man, the food at that place was so good. I forgot to record because I was so hungry, but it was so good. I couldn't finish it all. So I brought uh, some with me right now, um, but I'm just so sleepy after that. I think I'm just gonna head back to the hotel. I'm really tired. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just walk back and bring you with me. Passing the aquarium. And I just saw something over there. I don't know if you can see, it's a wheel. It looks like a Ferris wheel. I kind of want to go check it out, but I don't know how to get there. I'll just follow the light. Can you see the ferris wheel? The thing is that I think I have to walk all the way around and hopefully find a bridge. I hope I do because I really want to see it uh, up close. There's the Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum. Who watched that show? Because that's one of my uh, childhood memories, just watching that show and like learning about all the weird things that exist in this world. Ah, memories, man. I'm easy to please, okay? Don't judge me. Confirmed, it is a ferris wheel. It's not just a decoration and it's huge. Look at that. It looks really cool. I like the changing lights and everything. I wonder when they opened this. It would have been cool if I could have shown you this today, but I guess today's not the day. One last shot of this ferris wheel in all its beauty. To be honest, right now I don't even know where I'm going. Uh, I did a big detour in order to get to that Ferris wheel uh, that we just saw. And uh, right now I don't know where I'm at. Uh, I could check the map, but I uh, thought it would be fun to get lost and uh, to try to find my way back just on my own. And if it comes to worse, I'll just Google it. But right now I just want to walk and see if I can get there by myself. At the beginning I mentioned Barnes & Noble, it's right there, so it should be on that general direction, so we're close. And we're back to the bridge too, 
the bridge of lights this is where adventure kind of started and then that's my hotel the one to the to the furthest right i can see it i can almost smell it just like that our adventure is over i'm back to the hotel and ready to get some rest